<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So to, in today's video, I have an exciting one. So I've not been playing around with makeup very much lately because my skin's not looking the best. So I'll give you a close up of my skin. It's a little bit spotty, a little bit red. It's not looking its best. My pores are massive and I'm just not feeling it. So I've been trying to stay away from makeup. And I thought I was looking on YouTube to find like recommendations of natural skin masks I'm across. Bianca Jill Brown, her mum making up then and I've heard of it before and I know that she uses turmeric and yogurt in it and I remember when my grandma always used to say that turmeric and yogurt were really good for your skin and that they used to use it when they were younger and my mum used to use it so I thought I've not ever made it so I'm gonna try um so I'm gonna sit you up in my kitchen and then let's make this mask together Alright, so I'm sorry you can't see my face but I am still here <laughs> and I'm gonna make this mask so um, by the way, I know I'm pretty late on this and I know that she made a video about a year ago on it but I just wanted to, I just came across it the other day and I just wanted to try it so I'm still going to give it a go. So if I've put a bit of wheat flour in here. So the wheat flour is meant to be for exfoliating purposes. So I'm going to put one spoon of turmeric in here or actually a little bit more. So as far as I know, the turmeric's meant to be for like, um, so I know that turmeric's really good for your skin, it's an antibiotic. Um, it's meant to be for like darkness and dark patches and stuff like that. So I'll put a bit of that in. So I've got some yogurt. Um, I don't use or eat dairy, so I've got soya yogurt, and I'm hoping it will do the same thing. Um, just to make it into a paste. I know that soya is like people have like soya face washes and they're meant to be pretty good for your skin anyway so I'm gonna put some of that in and then I've got a lime so I'm just gonna squeeze half half a lime in and then mix it together so it also had the ingredients of rose water and I've looked everywhere for rose water and I can't find it um, I've not, well, I've, I've had a look at, to see if I could find rose water and I've not been very, like, lucky with it. I don't know where to find it. I don't really know where to look. So I was just going to use, like, regular water. Because um, I know that in the video she said that it was just to make it so that it wasn't so, like, doughy and a little bit, like, wet. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. So this is the paste that I have. Um, I hope this is what it's meant to look like. And I did a good job. It's not too, I didn't. I tried to only put a drop of water in it because I wanted it to be a little bit runny but not like thick because it was literally looking like dough before. So I'm going to cut to my bathroom and let's put this on our face. I'm also going to put a little bit on the back of my hand just to make sure that I'm not allergic to it. I don't think I am because these are not ingredients that I'm not, I don't usually eat. But I'm going to do it anyway. So I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Right, so we're now in my bathroom. I've just grabbed this bit of change of scenery um, than my usual videos. I've grabbed a Body Shop Foundation brush. Um, this one. Um, cause I thought it'd be good for this and I've just got something to pop my hair back this is also from the body shop it's a raccoon <laughs> but it's great for masks I'm gonna pop my hair back it's got foundation on it I'm so sorry I'm not good at this <laughs> it's actually broken and I'm, I've not even used it yet so that's a bit annoying but that's okay we can live with it um, so I've got my mask here and I'm just gonna pop this. I made way too much. Way too much. It's yellow. Well, obviously it's yellow, duh. <laughs> oh my god. How much do I put on? Um, what does it smell like? It smells very, it just smells like turmeric. Oh, got it on my nose. That's, that's okay. It, it just smells like turmeric. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I hope that because I didn't have the, um, I didn't use natural, like, yogurt, because I don't eat natural yogurt, so I don't want, like, the allergic reaction of it. But I'm pretty sure soya yogurt will make absolutely no difference. 
To be honest, even though I made quite a lot, I'm also using quite a lot of it, so it's okay. Also, comment down below, when you put a mask on, do you put it on your stash area or do you not? That's something I've always wondered. If you put it down your stash area, comment down below, because I would love to know. So, just my nose. It's very thick, but it's not like thick, thick. I'm assuming that the rose water was just to like loosen it up a little bit because I can't imagine putting dung on your face would be that easy. So apparently you leave this for 15 minutes and then you just flake it off. Oh, it's in my hair, it's okay, it doesn't matter. So I've got the mask on, I put a pretty thick layer on. Um, I'm gonna leave it um, for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna make myself some dinner and I'll come back when it's dried and then we can flake it off together. All right, so I'm back with um, after about 25 minutes because I did put quite a lot on so it's not fully dry yet. But I thought I'd just get my camera set up and see how we're doing. So as you can tell, it's completely like dried here. It's got, I've got a little bit of a wet patch there and there on my cheeks. Um, but oh my God, I'm itching to get this off my face because I like cannot even move. I've already tried and like flaked a little bit off because I was just, I get really impatient every time I put masks on. But, so what I'm gonna do is just try and rub a little bit off with my finger, just like where it is dry down here, and then I'm gonna try and use a little bit of water and like rub it into my skin so that the wheat really like exfoliates. So let's try that and see what happens. Let me run it and rub it off my chin. This is gonna make a mess. I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning after this video. Oh. Oh my goodness, my sink is yellow. That's okay. So as I said, because I put quite a bit on, I left it for about 25 minutes. Oh my God, my skin feels so soft underneath, just that one patch. Feels so soft. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Like just on the tips of my fingers. Oh God, that's cold, I'm not doing that. Warm up the water a little bit. And I'm just gonna rub like the rest off into my skin and then maybe get a washcloth. That's what I'd usually do with face masks. Um, and in the video I did say that with the wheat, if you rub it in, it works in the exfoliator. It's not easy to get off, guys. Not easy to get off. Okay, so I'm back. This is the only thing I could find, and it's absolutely massive, but it will do. And I'm just literally running all around the house trying to find a little one. I don't know where they've all gone. So I'm just going to get the end of it. Oh, that's better. It's so much easier to get off. I'm going to try to be a little bit not as rough because I don't want to hurt my skin or pull it. I just want to. My skin feels so soft, it's so much whiter. Like, I look really pale now, more than I did before. I mean, guys, I'm not one of those people who tries to look pale like I don't, or tanned, like I just let my skin do it, what it wants to do. <laughs> Definitely got my all of it off my face. Um, I've got a little bit of my hair, but I'll figure that out later. I'll have to just like wash it or comb it, I don't really know. I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, as far as my skin goes, it feels so smooth. <laughs> um, I just feel like I've had like an actual exfoliator. Cause I, I do have problems with my skin being a little bit, like I get quite dry patches and like flaky skin and stuff like that. So I absolutely love the fact that this is just taking it all off. Oh my God, it feels so smooth. Like for the first time I've tried this and I've not even done it over time, I'm well impressed. It takes, it's quite lengthy to like make it, <laughs> leave it and everything and I suppose I was filming in between so I was like setting up cameras and everything so that took me a little bit of time but it's actually really fun like I quite liked it like sometimes you need days where you're just a, like a little bit of spa day to myself like I'm gonna make something and just put it on and chill like and that's exactly what I did and I've, I've really much enjoyed myself I'm quite happy with that I'll show you a close up of my skin <laughs> yeah I've still got my red blotches and stuff but I wasn't expecting them to go anywhere um I would definitely recommend it. That is it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
and comment down below if you are a moustache person or not a moustache person because I'm really intrigued to find out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe. On the other hand, this is the current situation of my sink that I am dealing with right now and this is how much I have left over so I'm probably just going to share this with my mum. And yeah, so it makes less. <laughs> just as a side note.